So that's everything I want to talk about today.、Uh, we still have some time. Let's see whether we have any questions. Yeah, there's there's quite a few questions for you, Mark. Okay. All right. Let me、uh, start from from the top. All right. The the very first question is: If we check a document out from Project One's drive, are we still able to co-author the document? The answer is no. So if you want to use the co-authoring feature about the Office documents, your your best bet is to going through the web user interface. You cannot use Project One's drive. All right. The second question is. Can the option to create a folder be limited with roles?、Uh, the the answer is yes. So again, the what I just demonstrated is really assuming you have permissions to create new folders, you have permissions to create、uh, documents under project wise.、Uh, So any user access control you define within project-wise projects will be still honored、uh, across the board, not only inside project-wise explorer, but also、uh, within project-wise drive and project-wise web as well. So just in case if I do not have permission to create any new folders under this POC folder, what what's going to happen is. I can still drag and drop this folder in, but the icon will be different.、Uh, you are going to see a different icon indicating、uh, those document has not been、uh, uploaded back into ProjectWise, and then you can troubleshoot to see. Eventually, you are going to figure out、uh, the root causes. You don't have permission to create the folders and the documents. Into a the target folder inside the project wise. So let's see.、Uh, with the, the next question, with the project wise drive, is there a quick way to open a document as read only?、Uh, that's a good question.、Uh, right now. Uh, we don't have that feature. So,、uh, whenever you open that document, if you have read write permission, and then automatically、uh, you are going to check that document out. But again, as I said, the auto check in check out only applicable to common file types. Again, Office documents, DGN, DWGs.、Uh, The next question is: There a list available that to show which format can code check in check out?、Um, can co can auto check in check out? So sorry.、Uh, the question is: Is there a list available to show which format can auto check in check out? So I know.、Uh, We are working on the documentation.、Uh, later on, it should be available through the project-wise web and the project-wise drive help. So that's something is currently being worked on.、Uh, it should be available through through here. So if you come down to the project-wise web and the project-wise drive help,、uh, later on we're going to put on some on、um, the list showing up within this help file. So let me just find. We're not seeing the open in desktop app option for Office documents. Only the collaborate. Only the co-authoring feature. Uh, the reason for that is to be able to see the open in the desktop application. You have to be able to see this option. You have to install Project Wise Drive, and also you need to 
enable the synchronize uh, this project option. So once you do that, uh, this option will be available. Is there the next question? Is there a time frame when the next build about Project Wise Explorer will be released? Again, I cannot give um, exactly the timeline, but we're working on the so called update 4.0. Again, uh, I can double check with I can double check with the uh, product manager to find out what exactly the timeline. Just yeah, just a note on that: we're never going to be able to sit, give an exact timeline uh, to any date of software release. Uh, Got to remember, we're a public company now; we can't be saying that kind of stuff. Uh, we are working on it. Um, we are helping, even from a support or from a services perspective in some of the desktop application certification, so it's ongoing right now. Um, but as far as an exact date, time frame, I really would not want to speculate. Sure. Um, the next question is, are we able to turn track changes on when co-authoring Office documents so it can act as a concurrent review process uh, so whenever you do uh, co-authoring, so essentially it's going to launch. So let me just do that. Whenever I start a co-authoring session, by default, it's going to launch the desktop application. So from there, I can I can turn on the tracking tracking comment. I can turn on the tracking comments. And from there, it's going to record uh, all these changes. Uh, you know, it's going to track all these comments and the changes. Uh, the answer would be yes. That's something you can do. So if I don't, as you can see now, uh, it launches the Microsoft Word. And from here, also at the same time, as you can see, the icon changes. So I start this co-authoring session. And if I turn the the track, if I turn the the track comments on, and then yes, it's going to track all these comments and and, and the changes. Uh, the next question is: I was told that project-wise enterprise product software are now part of project-wise resistant five pro family. Let me just scroll down a little bit. Are these all cloud-based solution now? Is there documentation on recent changes in, in naming or what it what is included in project-wise 365, uh, 365 Pro? Uh, really, from the technical perspective, the Interprod uh, client and the Interprod server, uh, they're still desktop client. Really, uh, Project Wise Resistive 5 Pro family is really uh, from the entitlement perspective, uh, it's really about the licensing agreement in turn on the technical basis to be able to use in the product organizer, in the product server. You still need to install in the product client, it could be in the product organizer or uh, in, the, in the product pro. Uh, is still desktop client. You still need to deploy in the product server. It just the licensing will be covered from Project Wise with 65 Pro offering. Uh, the next question is just my opinion. I don't like that the click to open option was removed. I find it annoying to hit every time I want to open a file. Uh, I'm not sure what exactly this is about. I think he's talking about the ellipsis. He doesn't like having you hit the three dots to open the file. In fact, that the click to open option was removed. OK, all right. Yeah, thank you for your feedback. Uh, the next one, can I work with forms? 
inside of project-wise resistive five, just a connected project. Uh, as I said, uh, currently at this moment, at this moment, uh, the form service is only available through connect projects. So we're working on to migrate the form service to project-wise resistive five. For document review, are we able to select multiple users? Uh, not selecting a role, uh, the answer is no. Uh, so currently it doesn't allow you to, to, it doesn't allow the multiple selection about the users. So unfortunately your best bet today is to define a role, could be a project specific role, and then you can assign the document review to a specific role. Are we able to specify who can only create markups versus who can finalize the review? Um, yeah, that's a good question. So uh, currently, the the permissions not not being associated with a workflow state, the building workflow state. So uh, currently, by using document review, you are not able to do that. Uh, once you once you give the users, uh, you know, the permissions to uh, to mark up the PDF files, and then they will be able to finalize the review. But but the good thing about that would be uh, it's built in audio trail within the document review feature. So you will know exactly who has done what and the one they did it. Um, the short answer is no. Uh, you cannot control who can do markup, who can do uh, approve to finally approve the review, but you can track through the audit trail um, as, the, as an alternative. The next question is, I only use Connect to create projects. Should I be creating all new projects uh, on 365 portal? Can I convert all my Connect projects to 365 if it's the best way to work? So really the idea is, it, um, I think uh, the first question should you use Connect or should you use uh, 365? I think it really depends. Uh, Bill, maybe uh, we can have some other session later on so we can have deep dive to compare Connect versus 365 portal. So there's slightly different offering. A good example would be document review feature is only available to project-wise 365 and also con form service is only available to connect projects. So it really depends if you are using custom forms. Uh, in that case, uh, your best bet will, will be to stay on connect. And if you want to you know, take advantage of the document review feature, in that case, your best bet is to jump on to the newer portal on project-wise 365. So, Currently, we're working on a migration tool. And so essentially, given that, you don't have to do any conversion on yourself. Uh, essentially, by using that migration tool, you can select, here's a bunch of the connect projects. You can choose which project you want to migrate into 365 portal. So that's something uh, should be available soon. I cannot, as Bill said, we cannot promise any exact timeline, but that's something we're currently working on. So you will be in a position to decide for this project, I want to stay on, on Connect. For the next one, I want to convert from Connect Portal or migrate from Connect Portal to 365 Portal. Yeah, uh, I just expand on that, Mark. I, I believe that there will be a time and maybe not so distant future that the connect portal will ultimately be an administrative portal. So you go there for service tickets, managing them, um, software downloads, that sort of stuff. 
uh, and that all project design content will be over at Project Wise 365. We don't know what that timeline is. As Mark said, we are working on, we, Bentley, the development team, is working on the, the tool itself as we speak. So once we know more, you guys will. Okay. So the next question is, where does it pull uh, the assigned to names? Um, so for any connect projects or uh, project-wise 365 projects, uh, you always need to manage the team members of your project. Let me just go to these projects. So from here, uh, there are certain building roles, uh, and also you can see all these team members within your projects. And also, uh, it works well to mention uh, when you define the so-called work area connections, which going through this work area connection, you can hook up uh, a work area within the data source to these cloud projects. So this is more like admin function, but what we offer here is we offer a user sync option. If you turn this option on, it basically means for any users with access to a specific work area within the data source. Uh, so they we can synchronize that user into that cloud projects at the same time. But there's some details about exactly how this user sync works. But for the end users, uh, you can imagine I have access to this this work area within the data source, and then correspondingly, you will have access to this cloud projects. But really, to answer your question, whenever you want to assign a design review task, so for example, if I come down here, this design review task want you assign uh, assign a document review task. This list coming from the team members uh, within that account projects. The again, the team members could be coming from your know, work area participants, could be uh, coming from add-on users to that account projects. All right, the next question: if we are not ready to utilize the issue resolution, can we disable create issues from uh, markup tool? Uh, the answer is yes. So now it always come back to uh, this cloud project. So within within a cloud project, it's really up to you to manage uh, what kind of permissions you want to give these uh, team members. So you can define whatever roles and for each. So by default, by the team member role, you can decide uh, which cloud services they are able to access. So if you say, I want to make sure all my team members, they don't have access to uh, the issue resolution service, the issue management service, so you can go through all these forms. You can say for the team member use, for the team member role, you have no access to view any forms or uh, they cannot create any forms. In that case, essentially, uh, if for your users, they don't have permissions to create any forms, in that case, they cannot create any issues from the markup. So the next one, uh, are we able to link our markups to a transmittal responses in deliverables management? Uh, it's a good question. The answer is yes. So within deliverables management service, you are able to create issues, just like you create issues from your document review task. Um, that's exactly the same way you receive a transmittal or your users receiving your transmittal packages, they can create issues from uh, your transmittal packages, uh, from the PDF, PDF markups, uh, with it from the PDF attached to a transmitter package. 
The next question, are we able to modify global or personal searches that were saved through project-wise Explorer? Uh, of course. Uh, uh, oh, sorry. I, I guess the question would be to, to modify any saved searches you defined from Explorer going through the web user interface. The answer would be no. So at the moment, you're able to consume any saved searches you defined within Explorer, but you cannot modify the saved searches you defined within a ex Explorer. So the next hey, question. Hey, Mark, you, Mark yeah. the, uh, Mike's question, the one you're going to read, that's going to have to be the last one because we're at the top of the hour and I, I do have to wrap up the meeting. So sure. uh, there's maybe a couple others that we can answer via email, but go ahead and answer Mike's question. So, uh, so how about here? So how about we stop here? So Bill, normally we can uh, respond to the answer to the question going through some other way. Yeah, I, I, I can. we can get a list of all the questions and who asked them and we can respond via email. Okay, all right, in that case, uh, how about we stop here and we're trying to address the unanswered questions going through email. Perfect. So okay. thank you very thank much. Thank you very much, guys. Thanks, Mark. Nice presentation, everyone. Thanks for attending, and I look forward to talking to you guys um, next month. Take care. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.